and welcome to this episode of Take Another Look, your eye on the art scene in Albuquerque. I'm your host, Tony Dallaflora. 25 years ago, the Albuquerque Arts Business Association launched Art Scroll. The once a month event has become one of the city's most engaging art happenings, showcasing local artists with evenings of exhibit openings, receptions, demonstrations, and special events. On Friday, October 2nd, the public art programs from the city and the county will join in the festivities with some pre-crawl events at county facilities and inside the convention center. With me today to discuss the upcoming public art scrawl are Sherry Brueggemann, manager of the City of Albuquerque's public art program, and Nan Maslin, Bernalillo County public art coordinator. I love... Um, I hope I got those titles right. Cause they're <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> they're longer than the rest <laughs> yes. of the intro. Uh, anyway, great, great to have you guys here today. Um, what, um, obviously, Art Scroll's been around for a while, and Public Art's been around for a while, mm. but I don't know that you often very, you know, do joint events like this. What was the reason uh, for it this time around to join with them? Well, I think you, you touched on it, Tony, that they're both very well established in the city and the county as um, pillars of the art community and arts events. So we have right. Arts Crawl and Public Art. It seemed like a, a good combination to bring them together and um, really join with the Arts Crawl to see how we can promote local art in a different way. Right, right. I assume the same thing for you guys. You just... Oh, absolutely. Well, the county actually did this amazing event last year, partnering with the Albuquerque oh, okay. Art Business Association. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we all have facilities in the same area, the uh, NAN invited us to be part of this year's event. And we thought the best thing to do would be to highlight the art in the convention center, because with the convention center uh, remodel, a lot of people, a lot of locals, haven't been back into that facility yet. So uh, that gave us an opportunity to showcase some more artwork. Okay, I want to come back to that in a second, but I want to start with the county stuff because you guys are, are all over the place, not just in one uh, place. Are. So um, let's <coughs> talk, let's kind of walk people through what they can see here when they, uh, assuming we can get them down here to this city county building. Sure, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to s invite everyone who participates in this downtown public arts crawl to start on the 10th floor of the City County Government Center building, which is at one Civic Plaza. Okay. And um, <clears throat> we're going to have a map available of all the okay. different locations, which are all very close to each other. But we're going to start on the 10th floor with some um, beverages. We're okay. having a progressive um, live music and food at each of these locations. Oh, okay. So um, we're inviting people to start, um, come have some mocktails on the 10th floor okay. and see <laughs> some artwork by local artist Leo Neufeld, who is a landscape and portrait artist. Right. Um, and that'll be hosted by Commissioner Stebbins on the 10th floor. And then we're inviting people to go down to the 6th floor Floor where they will see pieces from APS students and the probate's office and the clerk's office and also we have some other existing public art in on those on both of those floors right right and then and then that's just for the building and that's then right you can go elsewhere to see some stuff exactly we're having other public art um, at the assessor's office which is across the street at 501 T Harris right. and then also we're highlighting two local arts nonprofit organizations at 415 T Harris and we will be having um, appetizers at both of those locations and uh, Zach Freeman, who's, who does acapella live looping, will be at 415 T. Harris doing his magical music. Okay, how, uh it's interesting you got the assessor's office building in there. I mean, you <laughs> yes. Well, that's what's so great about the county is we have all of these facilities, and they have. Um, a, a great amount of traffic of the public that comes through there and it's an opportunity to put public art in unexpected places. Yeah, that's great. So again, if they show up down here, start, go up to the 10th floor and you get a map and start there and then work your way down and then around and then over to the convention center and then we'll right. get to the art scroll later. But and I should just uh, mention, we have, we're going to have a map and on there will be a passport and at each of the locations you can get it, get your passport stamped. Right. And at the end when you um, finish up with dessert at the convention center, we will, there you can get a prize. Oh, okay. A free gift. <laughs> All right, great, <laughs> great. 
Um, well, Sherry, we mentioned the convention center. Um, first of all, you guys, that's going to be your new office over there. Tell me about that. Yes, it is. There's a little space. It's on uh, the south uh, west corner of the west complex of the convention center that faces Civic Plaza and that will become the new public art program offices and we hope to be moving in there in late October uh, early November uh, but for the arts crawl the building uh, the office space is built out and so we'll be having a table and sort of um, handing out our um, information from that space as a teaser to invite people to come down and see our new offices right. and just for fun it's not a it's not a a real post office address, but uh, we're calling it two Civic Plaza okay. to kind of go along with one Civic Plaza, which is the main government okay. buildings. But um, because right. we're not directly part of the convention center, we're just across the street from Civic Plaza. That'll be our address. So right. when people get their map, they can come to two Civic Plaza and be part of the whole public art. Um, come see our move, how we're going to be moving into this new right. space. Right. Now, when I, I'd interviewed you before about the convention center artwork, mm -hmm. and I think we at that point figured it was probably the largest art gallery in the city, <laughs> if not the state. <laughs> um, tell, again, t tell people what is in that building and how much there is to see over there. Well, last year during the remodel, we were able to um, acquire uh, upwards of 20 new works of art that went into the convention center at a larger scale because those are very large uh, public spaces, large walls, large rooms. Um, but we were also able to sort of borrow and shift around the entire city from all of our other venues um, and put another 115 works in the courthouse. So as of now, we're upwards of 150 individual works of art throughout the entire Entire court, uh, did I say courthouse? I court meant to say convention, convention center. center. <laughs> it was my old days from the county. <laughs> <laughs> the convention center in both sides of the convention center, both both the east complex and the uh, recently remodeled west complex. Yeah, and there's all kinds. I mean, there's it's there's painting, sculptures. You've got a little bit of everything inside there. Right? Uh, not too many sculptures yet, but definitely okay. some three-dimensional stuff, uh, low-relief three-dimensional stuff that comes off the walls. And uh, we actually hope to be doing a call for more artworks coming up this spring oh, when we get our next round of bond funds, hopefully after the voters go to the polls in October. Yeah, let's hope, hope that works out. Um, okay, and the new... Um, the new offices over there are going to, I guess you're going to be in a little bit more public space down there, as for, which is probably appropriate for public art, but um, it'll be easier for people to pop in and see what you guys are doing, I suppose. Absolutely. We're looking forward to being literally on the ground with the public right across from Civic yeah. Plaza. Lots of great stuff going on in Civic Plaza these days, and so we look forward to having more of a presence there. But also we'll be um, a little tiny bit of sort of a visitor center, welcome center for folks that are coming through and might want to know more about our city venues like the Botanic Gardens and the, you know, the entire Biopark mm -hmm. and Art Museum, Balloon Museum, all of our great facilities here in, in the city so we can help give them information and guide them to other great uh, cultural venues. Okay, great. Um, Nan, you had mentioned before about some of the uh, um, local nonprofit groups you're working with. Tell us about that. Yes, we are featuring two local arts programs. One is Working Classroom, and specifically we'll have artwork from a workshop this summer led by printmaker Karsten Kreitney. Okay. And he was trained at Tamarind, and he's now sharing his skills with students from Working Classroom, and so you'll okay. be able to see his prints and his students' prints um, in this show. And then in addition, we're working with VSA North Forth, and they're going to be having an exhibit um, titled The States of Autism by Peter mm -hmm. Hirsch, and it's his interpretation of um, the U.S. map. And in addition, we're gonna have some other work as well. Okay, the state, <laughs> what does the autism part have to well, do with Well, this it? is uh, very special <laughs> arts focuses on um, arts programs for people with special needs. Okay. And so right. um, I believe that Peter Hirsch has autism and he, he oh. decided, he looked at the, the map of the United States and wanted to do his interpretation of it. Oh, and okay. so there's, okay. it won't okay. be all 50 states, but it will be, um, several of them have sh previously sold, but the ones that he has, um, they'll be laid out in a grid and um, they're really quite beautiful. They are images, they're watercolor and oil pastel relief. 
Oh, okay. All right. Great. And if I could jump in, our sure. nonprofit partner for our yeah. little uh, section is uh, <clears throat> the Mayor's Art Summer Institute group. Um, formerly part of Harwood, now spinning off on their own. Their organization is called Alma, but they are the group of um, uh, artists who have been putting the ceramic tile around the facade of the yes. convention center right. for um, over a decade. I think they're going yeah. on their 14th or 15th wow. year. And so they're going to come be our nonprofit partner at our space as well and give tours of the latest tile installation that's now on the west complex of the of the convention center. Yeah, they they still have a little ways to go. But if, <laughs> if, uh, I, I tell people if you haven't been down to see the convention center, it's been it's pretty amazing and if you ever wondered what that was wrapping around the side of it it's a, a beautiful mosaic uh, project but four, 14 years that's pretty amazing yes and many many more square feet to go <laughs> yeah well that's a nice thing they're they're very amenable down there to keeping this project going at the convention center they love it down there and i understand it gets a lot of you know people who haven't seen it before from out of town and stuff love it so it's a, it's kind of a great selling point i guess um, well, let's talk about just, we have just a couple minutes left, but I want to, um, you know, Art Scrawl itself is uh, an amazing event. Anything that lasts 25 years in this town, you figure, has, you know, is, is doing pretty well. Yes. And this event coming up is actually a citywide uh, thing, but you were talking, you were telling me before how important that Art Scrawl is to the arts community here. I had the privilege of working with the early founders of Art Scrawl back in the late 1990s before I got into public art. I was actually managing a gallery in the Northeast Heights and um, they were critical to helping to get the word out about all the gallery locations and um, supporting sort of the arts business side of mm -hmm. the arts for both artists but also really getting the, the citizens and the public interested in collecting and understanding how to go shop for art and, and look at artwork and be involved in the whole um, visual arts scene. They're really about supporting mm -hmm the visual arts and primarily on the commercial side so um, like you said the fact that that organization has been around this long is really important to our community and I'm just glad that they were willing to partner with with our visual arts programs um, in a new way because of course none of our artwork is for sale um, but we like this idea of mutually supporting each other's um, efforts yeah. Yeah. right so the idea is that our arts crawl <laughs> portion starts at 4 and goes right. till 6.30, right. which is before the the galleries start their art right. scroll. So we encourage people to come start uh, at the 10th floor and on Civic Plaza and then move on over after they've gone through and gotten to the convention center, then go on and head over to the downtown arts businesses and as well. get the hard liquor and the alcohol. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we should mention that the, there's a full listing of art scroll events at art scroll ABQ org right right and we'll post that again Great. before we go but um, yeah so folks can literally leave the convention center and just head over a couple blocks and and there's a pretty pretty good concentration of uh, galleries downtown right right yes what all is down um, there's 516 and Sumner Dean um, central features I'm trying to remember who else is downtown I think those are the three yeah. main ones. But I ones. think I think this is also a citywide art scroll, so it does include right. locations in Old Town and some all the way up Central and Knob Hill, and some in the Northeast Heights as well. So, okay, well, um, yeah. So any any place you are in town, even if you don't make it down to the public art scroll, which you should, um, <laughs> you can you can hit some place in another part of town. Old Town, there's a, an Old Town one, Northeast Heights, uh, Knob Hill, and of course downtown. So, um, and again, uh, Nan, if you would give us that. Uh, where to get more information on this? For more information, go to artscrawlabq.go. No, sorry. <laughs> no, dot org. Okay, artscrawlabq.org. Great, great. Well, I want to thank you guys uh, for being here today, um, Nan Maslin of the County Art Program and Sherry Brueggemann of the City's Art Program. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Take Another Look, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.